In 1984, Ball and Sidekick was released, and this was a Termination and Stay resident program uh, you running on MS-DOS that allowed you to press a hotkey and then up would pop a, um, a person information manager that would give you access to a text editor, calendar, uh, ASCII chart, calculator. It was really useful because if you were editing in one program or using one bit of software, you could quickly pop this up, do a little bit of work on it, and then let it come back down again. So I used to quite often use it for um, editing source code and then flicking back, into it, back and forth between the, uh, the command prompt. A year or so later, uh, Poor Man Software must have seen Sidekick and decided to release Right Hand Man for uh, CPM, uh, CPM80. This provided much of the same functionality but in a much more constrained format that was necessary for the 64K of CPM. So it still provided a uh, calendar, uh, ASCII chart, but the, the notepad was just for taking notes. You couldn't edit source code in it. And, um, and there, was no, uh, there wasn't the full functionality of the calendar that you had with, uh, with Sidekick. But nonetheless, quite useful. For this video, I want to show Right Hand Man in operation, and we'll begin by configuring it. So if I type WHM conf, and then up comes the configuration program, and the first thing it asks me is the uh, home cursor sequence for my terminal, which as I'm using a VT100, I'll use 1B, 5B, 4, 8. And then that will be followed by asking me which hotkey I want to use. So I'll use uh, the, um, the at symbol, and then uh, asks me how much memory I want to take, and I just take the default. So I press return, and that'll give me, it says 1.5K, but really it's 2. Right, so that's all done. So if I type WHM, and that will bring up the options for right-hand man, and I want to start it to tell it that to load by using the WHM on command, and if I put C colon before that, it'll tell it that that's where its files reside. So if I now press the hotkey, uh, which will be Control, Shift, and at symbol, and then up will pop the menu. And then I'm going to start by pressing the notepad, which is the A key. And then here you can see the, uh, the little notepad here. So you can type keys in here, and um, it uses the word star format. So, uh, control E to go up, control X to go down, control S and control D to go left and right. And if I want to go forward a page, press control F. And if I want to go back a page, press control B. So, uh, nice and simple. And there's the menu. So, you can see the commands there. And, uh, yeah, as I say, fairly standard word star commands. So if I now press the D command to list the directory, and uh, I'm going to look at the uh, C drive, and there we are, we have the files there, so I can just press down, and uh, we'll see what we have on the C drive. And then uh, next I want to have a look at what's on the D drive. So I'll go to the directory again, and uh, type in D colon, and uh, here you can see that we have uh, two M basic files, one the inter interpreter one the source code. So I want to view a file now, and I've pressed uh, the E command to view a file, and here we have it. And uh, we press um, F to go forward, and B to go back, and then we can go E to the end, or S to the start. Right, so now if we go into the calculator, and uh, we can see that we have a, a little calculator here, and uh, so if I type uh, 27 and 33, we get 891, very good. So the uh, the next thing I want to show is how we can load up um, uh, other little programs that they're included. So here we can see at the top, we see ascii.rel. So that's one of the built-in commands. So if I uh, type in um, the O command for other, and then type in ascii, and up you'll see a little ascii chart which will be pretty handy, uh, particularly when you're programming. So uh, if, I, um, if I now come out of Right Hand Man, and you'll see that the screen has been corrupted, it doesn't restore the screen, so I have to clear the screen to make life easier. And then I go on to uh, start the basic interpreter, 
and basic. And uh, I write a little program just so that you can see how that the right hand man can come out of a program and come back in and it will just continue from where it was. So all this will do, it will just list numbers on the screen and then we'll interrupt it, go into right hand man and then, uh, and then you can see how it works. Right, so if I run it and then I'll interrupt it with the hotkey and then there you can see right hand man's menu and we'll go into the notes and uh, put a few little uh, notes in here so that you can see how we can how it's still accessible after we come out and go back in again in a minute. So uh, a little bit of text. So after we've written this note we'll uh, go back into MBasic, so basically we'll quit out of right hand man and then we'll see how the program continues and, uh, and then once it's back in running again we'll interrupt it a further time, I'll have a look at our notes and then uh, maybe add a little extra to it and then uh, he just proves how we can come back and forth as we wish. Well that's it for this video, so do subscribe to our channel and visit the website techtinkering.com. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about Right Hand Man and uh, there's also a link to an article on the Tech Tinkering website in the notes below.